Dogs of War. Let's go look at what we have going on on our battle map right now. Oh, hello. You're trying to sneak behind me. I didn't see you yet. Well, Osbert, I'm coming down now. My boy, here's what you're going to do. You're going to give your father a few more units over here, all right? There we are. Now we have a full stack. Do we really need it? Probably not, but I've got it anyway. My other child, my heir as well, is going to move up. There's bound to be a new rebellion eventually, and I do want to go take care of that. Okay, public order. That could improve. I do need more food. I would like to have a bigger army, but that will have to wait until later. He's currently 20 years old. Let me go look around. I know. I'm working on public order. I'm trying to anyway. I'm going to make a lot of gold. What I may do, I may raid or sack two more locations. That way, we can gain a nice influx of gold. After that, what we can do, we can invest in our lands. I might begin to upgrade my capitals. That way, we can have more buildings in those locations, especially buildings that might provide more public order. Many of the areas that I currently own, they need more public order. I could get my heir to go after... Then price over there. Here's a question for a lot of you who live in Britain. What would your current town be called now? Based off of what you're seeing in here. If it is in here. That's kind of cool to know. The Welsh Rebellion. One of the Welsh vassals under the yoke of the Anglo-Saxons has broken free. They have declared independence and raised swords against their former liege lord. This new conflict could greatly destabilize the region. That's happening way down here. Well, good luck to the lot of you. We're about to have new technology. Very good. We're moving down. He's going for it. It's about to be winter and he's about to take my food. It's pretty dirty of him, I've got to tell you. All right, how are things doing over here? They're actually pretty neutral right now. Great. Let's go look at what we can do money-wise. We're actually making a decent amount. Let me go look at it. Two more turns over here. Let's begin to upgrade capital areas a little bit more. Okay, I'm making a decent amount over here in the north. Yeah, I want my Great Hall. I'll lose five more food. That is affordable. Let's end our turn. Our warfare is really beginning to go down. We're having that border war really cause issues for me. It's probably going to really shoot down whenever I lose one location. That's why I need to get in there and go after their big friends. I mean, they're really causing me a headache by coming around my lands. I could also do a naval invasion. That would be pretty sweet, I think. We could pull it off. We could go after them. I wonder, will they take it? Or will they run away from me? Yeah, when they get here, they can cause a lot of damage, especially when you're trying to pull a bouncing act and keeping your food together. More than enough. Okay. Third brand, you've now become wise. At this point in time, there is an abundance of food and none shall go hungry. All right. He's a better governor for it. You can rely on us. Oh, hi there. It's me again. Let's have a chat. All right, me and you. Oh, you're trying to leave. That's adorable. You're now in my land. Okay, you've got some attrition going on. Look at their king. He's very young, too. All right, boy king. We're going to have you killed. And I'm going to have you go after some money over here. You'll go over the land. Evidently, that's going to be a little bit faster for me. All right, come over here. You'll be in the middle, keeping these locations relatively happy. Let's go look at more that we can upgrade. I want more capital locations to be upgraded. If I upgrade you, at least five more food. But I make more money. And over here, done. I'm gonna keep my gold. Actually, we'll upgrade that. Again, losing more food, but I think that's gonna be okay. Let's enter turn again. It'll take me time to really get a handle on things. I mean, I haven't played too much. You've seen me play as much as I have played, so you understand that I'm still relatively new to it. But I actually have been enjoying myself, but I don't think I can have a well-rounded opinion of what I think until I get to the end game. I've learned that with Total War titles, I can't really offer a full opinion until I complete one entire campaign. 
because you can get into anything in a very start and either say, hey, I'm not a huge fan of that or I really do like that. But with a longer form game like what we have here, we've got to take our time and think about it and really. Oh, hello. Jarl's Huskarls and Dane Law Axemen. Those are really cool. I kind of want those. I do want to get better spearmen, though. All right. Over here, trained spearmen. The spear band's strength does not come from numbers alone, but also from the presence of trained individuals. Spreading the word of our need for learned spearmen will bring them forth to take their place in our battle ranks. Okay. That is great. Let's now go make money. That's going to be like 2,000 more gold, I bet. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's a lot of money. <laughs> I love it. I love being able to go out there and just bother them. Oh, you're still running. I see. Okay, well, I'm going to go after you in a minute. Give me a moment. I'm busy. It's currently winter, and if you look at it, our food supply is actually all right. I could even have a peace treaty. My people are pretty ticked off. I'll probably have to beat him. I'll probably beat him and then try to sue for peace. I mean, after that, they might be like, hey, you know what? I think we're done. <laughs> I think we're going to call it for today. <laughs> all right. I need every location to be like tier two right now. All right. It's all looking good. Let's go upgrade my capital. We'll lose a little bit more food. I'm going to gain more food later by building up another building, but 2,400 gold. A market. Place near rivers, harbors, or road forks. Humble trading posts quickly become puzzling marketplaces. We'll get more money and a better garrison. And over here, we're going to grab more food. There we go. So the more I take money from my foes, the more I can invest in my own people. Eventually, they'll be happy and rich, and there will be food aplenty. I don't want you to come over here later and go raid that. Western Nas. Oh, hello. All right, time for me to find out if we can fight them or if they'll run away. They might run away. Look at them. They're forming up a little area over here. Oh, God, you're about to die. Look at how poor their army's doing. <laughs> All right, let's get ready for a battle. They run out of supplies pretty fast. Let's have a look. Oh, there's even a little village close by. I like that. Let's go in. So we're looking at quite a few soldiers over here. He's a commander. He's got two influence. I've got more. I'm currently 43. I need more influence. I mean, I should be highly influential. I'm currently rank four. He's actually rank three. Really? How did you become so darn good? Well, too bad you're not going to be alive after what we're doing here to you. <laughs> uh, Guthrid, he's going to raise a dynasty. His dynasty will be one of masters. Not slaves. Guthrid, or Guthfrid, is not one to deal with that anymore. He dealt with it as a young man, but now he's harder and stronger than ever. Check out that village. Beautiful. I love it. Wait, wait, wait. So you're telling me they can just, like, walk under that? Heck yeah, man. I'd like to play here. I could really get some ideas for D&D. &D. I could, like, look at these little villages and, like, design towns based off that. That would actually look great. It really would. This would be, like, a great D&D &D town. <laughs> anyway, before I bring that up further, let's go get ready for the battle. I love having, like, little towns on my little battle maps. And we're right by the sea, too. Heck yeah. Okay, so we know where they are. I'm going to use a pre-built formation. A Skaldborg. Okay. I think I like the idea of a Skaldborg. Oh, that's fascinating looking. Hold on. It's going to stretch out a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, I really like that. Let's use that formation. That's really cool. Except I do not want my skirmishers to move. They're going to go into guard mode and wait where they're at. Oh, don't tell me what to do. I've got it under control. Let's go check out my army real quick, though. I want you to look at them. Ah, champions of men. These guys look scary. Would you want to fight that? I wouldn't want to fight that. I'd say, you know what? I'm going to... Did you kill a bear just to wear it as a hat? He's like, yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, well... I don't think I want to fight them either. That's a bunch of men. All right. Now that we've kind of looked at our forces, let's now get ready and move in. We want them to all move over here. We're going to fast forward as we move. It'll take a minute. Oh, look at them. They're quivering. They're getting tougher soldiers, too. So it's not like it's just us becoming more powerful. But look at... Wait, what the hell? My spearmen have 52 melee skill. Dear God. I didn't know we were doing that well. Jeez, man. 
All right, let's move up further. Like over here. There's more trees by me. They've got some scout horsemen on the flanks. I don't like that. All right, here they come now. Are we going to have a skirmishing battle or do I just need to charge out? I think I might just charge out. They've got javelin men. <laughs> Look at that. They're all forming shield walls. Cool. <laughs> all right, so how are we going to do it real quick? What do we have over here? Any horse boys? Okay, we've got scouts over here and there. So here's what we're going to do. All right. I'm going to move my two groups of horsemen over here. They're going to go into a wedge formation. I'll put them in their own group right now. I want you three to move up for one. You three to move up over here for another. I want to go look at where all their men are at. We're going to charge in at various locations. We've got shield biters. We've got a lot of stuff here, but we're going to charge in right now. It doesn't really matter what they have. We're just going to go after their warriors and go kill them directly. I've got a lot of spearmen. I think we'll make it. I want my archers to now go after their javelin men. We'll go kill them too. Everyone has their own target. Everyone is going into battle. They thought they could just stay over here and get some kills. They've got a few archers too. That's cute. All right, well, time for some flaming arrows, maybe. I'm going to be a nightmare to a lot of them. So I want you to move over here. I want, I guess we do have to kind of go after their horsemen. We're going to fight them real quick. Let's go. Flaming arrows right into their formation. Things are going to catch on fire. It's going to happen today. Come over here, then charge into these guys. They've got more X-Men. They're charging at various points now. Masses of men are here to die today. Let's go. Horsemen, I need you to keep on moving. Let's go right behind them and go kill their javelin men. That's what I truly need you to do right now. Let's go look at all these boys. Get them right behind them. And over here. Okay, X-Men, let's go. Let's go right over here and go kill some long X-Men. Let's go over here and charge up more of them. I'm going to get more of you to go after whatever they have over here. Thanes, whatever. We've got more javelin men. Should have targeted on a few more of these archers if we can. What about on this flank? How's it looking? They flee before our might already. We've got a much higher skill than they do. I've got Axemen just charging in right now, killing them. Okay, let's go over here and go kill some archers. They're falling apart. Let's go kill these javelin men too. All right, Thanes are going to move in. Let's go after these horsemen instead. They've got some Thane horsemen that are trying to get away. And over here, some more scout horsemen. We can go after them too. Or I can go over here. I mean, if you really look at it, we've already hit them at multiple points. And they're having a really bad day. There's a few more scout horsemen. Come back. And look at that charge. Right into them. I think I've already won. I think it might be over. Let's come down here. Other horsemen, let's move. Let's go after more of their archers and javelin men and everyone else they have. Us Carls, come on, push in a little bit. You got it. Where's my king at? Is he in trouble? No, he's not in trouble. He's actually winning. We've already won the battle. The battle is in our favor. We have, we're burning down a few locations. I hope my guys will be okay. I think they'll be okay. We're, I guess we'll find out pretty soon. They've got a few spearmen over here. I don't like that. Finish off there. Oh, that's really the royal companions. I didn't know that you were fighting that, Thanes. Their king is going to die here. Where is he at? Can we find his king? Yeah, I found him. Haha, <laughs> I found a king. Oh, no. One of my men. Actually, I kind of want to watch him fight and die, so give me a second here. First off, I want you to come over here. Go finish off your king. I want you to come over here. Let's go fight some spearmen or whatever else they have. Horsemen, I want you guys to just move away now. Get away from that. Go after these guys. Get away from their spearmen if you can. We've already beaten a lot of them. Yeah, if you can chase after whatever, man, just go do it. Let's go form up. We've won over here, right? Yeah. But let's go watch this battle play. I want to watch their king die. Here he is. I want to, like, manage my men, but I also want to watch this guy die. So here we go. Someone put him away. Look at, look at that guy. Look at that guy. Oh, and he's down. Someone cut down their king right then. Beautiful. Yeah, we got away from the spearmen. It looks like disengaging with my horsemen is a lot easier than a war hammer. Man, I will complain about that. That's where I get most of my salt mines from. <laughs> I'm like, why can't they just disengage? It drives me mad. Let's end the battle. Okay, so we killed over 1,000. They killed 398. That was a pretty sweet battle. Goodbye, other king. Okay. So now that we've won that battle, what are we going to do today? We're going to reoccupy it for one. I'm not going to sack my own location. That would be awful. My people are unhappy. I've got more food. Indulge the locals. 
Perhaps you should think more highly of your subjects to either show some respect to their heritage or else avoid outright aggression towards their fellow English would make them less hostile and more tractable. I'm trying. I'm really trying, but yeah, they're pretty ticked off right now. Low loyalty. My friend. Rethink your choices in life. Oh, they have a son. Yes. I have a grandchild. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm happy about it. <laughs> All right. Now that we have that, do I have a new estate? I do. All right. Now who's being a little complainer? You? Do I even know you? Okay, you're a governor. You're a decent one, I suppose. Let's go. Uh, give me some land over there, buddy. Looking good? Looking good. I've made peace with a lot of the issues we've had, thankfully. I've got a lot of governors, too. Governors available, 5 out of 10. I'm rank 4. He's doing well, too. Impressive, yeah, no kidding. Food surplus, very good. We have our land back. I could even go overseas if I truly wanted to. I need more money. We're going to expand that location later, and I don't know what we'll put there yet. I've got to really cause a lot of peace to happen. Okay, let's go find out if we can have a peace treaty, because we've already fought our war for quite... Look at all the land I have. If only I had that one location over here, but it does belong to my vassal kingdom, so whatever. But, yeah, man. We've gained a lot of land. We've grown. I'd love to conquer more, but they're so freaking ticked off right now. Maybe you should call it a day. <laughs> you won't become my... I wonder, what has got to be the freaking conditions for that, you know? You think I could actually, like, demand a few things here because I'm the one about to kill them. Uh-oh. I popped out of nowhere. Had a little bit of a freeze up, but I'm good now. Will you pay me for that? I mean, you probably should. Really, you won't pay me. You know what? It's actually making me a little bit mad that you won't pay me. You're lucky that my people want a peace treaty right now. Wait, I'm not paying you. Hold on. Demand payment. Let's try maybe 900. Demand payment. They won't do it. All right. Let's try 500. We will All right, fine. That war is now over. We're currently ranked number two. We're pretty darn strong. I might go raid them later. They shouldn't be angry about that. Okay, I've got to help out my people. They're pretty darn mad. The English boil with anger. The lion strains at its leash. Yeah, yeah. Well, I better be careful with who I fight in the future. or They're going to be pretty darn angry. They don't care if it's other people. Alright, I could have you form up there later. Let's end our turn. I think we're good now. I think we've done what we can do. So we're going to end our turn. I better try to work on public order around here. Thankfully, the public order penalty isn't that high. Or that could have been really crucial for me. I should probably keep a decent surplus of food. If I lose one farm and that kind of provides starvation for everything that I am currently using, that's really bad. So I've got to spread things out a little bit more. Man, if only my vassal would either just join me directly or they would give me that little bit of land. Uh-oh. Rebellion. It's right by me, too. Look at that Welsh rebellion. It keeps on happening, man. They're having a pretty bad day. Oh, you're a tiny army. That's adorable. Well, time for you to die. Get out of here, kid. I could go conquer other locations, I suppose. It's really up to me on what I want to do. Yeah, give me your money. It's not a lot, but I'll take it. We're making 2400 per turn right now. Come back over here. Alright, let's go look at what we want to build up right now. I can get a new building over here. What do I truly want? Public order wouldn't be bad. I would lose 150 gold. It's unfortunate, but... Let me keep on looking. That would get rid of corruption for potentially more money, even though I am losing money. That would even help out one adjacent province. But they're really unhappy. That's partially due to occupation. All right. Let me get a look at it. It looks like it's my tithe hall that's causing me issues. I do like that food production, but I nearly want to get rid of it. We're going to keep it, though. We do have farms over here. Okay, that would reduce my food production. 
but that would really stop their campaign movement range. I mean, that will go down big time. And a bigger garrison, too. It's on the border of a very important location. Oh my god, look at what's happening over here, though. Mercia, what happened to you? East Anglia is falling apart. Wessex, you're being a pain. Yeah, there's a lot changing up. They're having a very tough time. I've gained a lot of land up north. I'll have to really think about how I want to approach everything that is happening over here. I mean, they're making money. What about their garrison? I mean, it's a very tiny one. I would need a lord to really help them out. I'll have to think about it. Let's go look at where I'm making a lot of money. Like over here. Oh yeah, we're going to make so much more money too. It's going to be incredible. Alright, if I take that, it's more money. If I take that, it's more public order. That would make my public order go down. I'll need a better benefit for later. And over here, they're pretty unhappy. Let's try to change that up if I can. Yeah. I'm going to need a few buildings to help out my public order. What about here? Very unhappy. We're working on that location too. Alright, fine. You know what? I'm going to work on a bigger building. There's a few things I can't get yet that I'll need to wait. I'm not getting grain pits. I'm not going to get a military building. Fur production from all hunting villages. We do have a hunting lodge over here. That is for hunting. But we only have one. Okay, for now, let's go work on getting rid of a little bit of corruption. And providing a bit more public order. Here's my thing. Oh no. A democratic process needs only the simplest of locales, and we'll take that. He's a farmer. Oh, that's good to know. All right, so now that we have that built up, let's go upgrade a few more locations and try to grab more food. Yeah. Like over here, you've got two nice buildings. I like that. That's pretty good. I'm going to upgrade that area. It takes a while to upgrade anything, really, but hey, we got it under control, I think. They've got a pretty decent chance for rebellions, and that could cause me quite a few issues. Again, my army is happy, but man, the people I ruled over, they're not so happy. Let's go look at diplomacy for a moment. Who's a fan of me? Okay. Why are you mad at me? Calm down. We will talk now. You shouldn't even be mad at me. I Stretch Klutz, what about you? Speak. All right. You're fighting a few people. Let's go look up here. Welsh Kingdom. So I could actually fight them and be okay. They've got allies. I could fight them and my people would probably be alright with it. They just can't be English. Athelwold. Yeah, we can't fight them again. What about you? English too. Well, darn it. I'll have to kind of pack things up a little bit and then fight them later. Great Viking Army. I could fight you and not cause any issues, I assume. But, hey. They do give me tribute. I don't mind that they have their own lands right now. In addition to their men being able to help me out. Alright, let's keep on looking. Gaelic Kingdoms. Meath, you're actually doing alright. Good for you. Let's go look at what's close by then. Faction ownership. Alright, what about if I... I mean, Stratcla is really who I have to go after, I think. Or we come down here. They've got military allies, and that would be a pretty brutal war. They're pretty strong as well. What about you? What are you doing? Who are you? A great Viking army. I could take your lands. And I could probably take your lands too. So you two look like two groups I could go after and no one would really blame me. They're Vikings. That would put me closer to Mercia, which does make me a bit nervous, but I think I might do that. Yeah, he's a port over here. Strat Club would be great. That's a unique hall up north. That's who I truly want to go after, but they're not trying to bother me right now. A long memory. What about you guys? Oh, you're rank 5. Okay, so these guys are actually pretty strong. And they're fighting who? Ah, okay. They're fighting a decent faction. They're not that strong, but they're doing well enough. I just don't want to break a treaty and cause issues when I have like other armies that I could go after right now. We're not that far from them, too, so I can let my king go after them. Let's come on down. We can go after... Let me find it. Okay. I suppose I can move, like, right over here. They'd be angry with me for a bit. That's pretty far off, actually. Yeah, I guess we could travel down here. That's what we'll do. I've got supplies for it. 
And you, my boy, I could have you raid. We're not making a lot of money from that, though. I've got to tell you. It's kind of a letdown. <laughs> Alright, let's go move and unite. You're going to go join your brother. We're probably going to grab some more food eventually after I upgrade a few more locations. And we're going to end our turn now. I'm trying to have my kids produce more grandchildren. We need to make sure the line is stable and doing well. Okay. Oh God, I think I can hear them. The braying of a bunch of angry peasantry. Increases. Maybe if I like kick them in the head a little bit, they'll kind of calm down. I don't know. Okay, boy, you're fairly loyal. You've got decent replenishment. I want you to move further, take that. Okay, Oswald, you're a governor. We're going to make you super loyal. Yeah. Look at that. That's a very loyal guy. And then Osbjorn. You're another governor. All of you shall be loyal to me. I'm making more money as we go along too. Hey, good for me. That's pretty good. Let's go look at locations where we could have them grow more. Yep, my buildings are, in fact, going up. Let's go by public order for now. Like over here, where they're very angry. I could upgrade that again and lose five more food. I think I kind of have to keep on doing that. I'm about to get a thing. Man, they're ticked off. I mean, that's going to change eventually after occupation goes down. Maybe they'll be okay, but if I have to reconquer a location again, they'll still be angry. Yeah, I don't make a lot of money from that area. And up here, they're okay. And down here, they're still angry. That'll change in time. I'm working on a lot of locations. They're actually becoming happier, which is great. All right, more trade income. Let's take that building. And over here for more food. It's a lot of farm income going up. All right, low public order. Understood. What about our king? He's moving down. It's about to be winter. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of that penalty. I'm trying. Cultural equilibrium, technology. Yeah. Okay. If they're not English, they won't care. So I've got to balance it out. So I can't fight Englishmen all the time, which is pretty funny. That's what I wanted to do, but I can't actually do that. I would have been like, all right, guys, I won't kill your people that you don't know well. I mean, you've lived in that village for like 30 years, your whole life, and... You don't know anyone from the next town over. But uh, yeah, you know what? I won't kill those people that you evidently care about. Calm down. <laughs> My abilities have been okay, hospitable. A new trade for whom? Eadred. Ah, he's wise. Ah, Athelred. Do come in. Do come in. Please, have some mead, my friend. Ha <laughs> ha Alright, more influence for him. That could be good or bad. Ah, I have a new skill now. Well, you know what I'm going to do. I want to become better in combat. So, uh, there we go. Thank you for that. Let's go look at my family tree. Hotkey huh? 8 again. Alright, my daughter will be of age pretty soon. Look at my grandson. I'm so proud. Might have to get you to divorce her. Alright, you know what? You gotta go. I'm gonna find him a wife. Which means it's time to go look at diplomacy again today. Let's go look around. Do you have any... Uh, you're a vassal kingdom. Yeah, beneath me. Arranged marriage. Okay, she's ambitious. I gotcha. Oh, dear God. Towards all other factions. Ooh. I'll think about it. It's a pretty baller wife to have, though, if, like, you're the king. I wonder what happens if you divorce and then you get a new wife, but you also have, like, another child with her, how they count that in the game. I have no idea. All right, let's go look around real quick. Arrange marriage. You're fighting an enemy of mine. Shield maiden. Oh, that's pretty cool. Command goes down, though. Huh. Orknayar. Arrange marriage. Whoa, a little bit much, huh? A little bit much. Let's not, uh... It's Dublin. Yeah, they don't want anything like that with me yet. East Engler, how you doing? Not so well, evidently. 
I'm trying to find a decent wife for my boy. I said to him, you get rid of that lady. We need to make sure you're having children. Lots of them. Bountiful babies everywhere. No, nothing yet. What about Betaborg? What a name. No. What? Oh my god, that's a pretty big kingdom for people who have like... Actually, they're rank 20. I'm just that much stronger. I have to forget, I'm just really strong in comparison to what they have going on. Alright, let's try over here. Nope. I suppose maybe they... Oh, hello. She's ugly. Oh. Well, we're not doing that. <laughs> Tragic. I'm not gonna make you marry someone ugly, boy. Don't worry. She's ambitious. Okay. Again, the same issue, though. He can already cause me issues. So I'm worried about that. I mean, he's fairly loyal, I guess, but... Maybe I should just kind of call someone who's, I don't know, ambitious. Alright, so you don't have anything for me? What about you up here? No. What about Gwent? A good card game. Nothing for me. Nothing over here for me. And you, arrange marriage. Oh no. Influence and loyalty goes down, so why do that, huh? All right, let's keep on looking. You guys are pretty strong, but you don't have anything going for me. You're fighting Mercia. Intriguing. They don't want to do it. Maybe one day. All right, you're a vassal. I'm not really looking at that text while I'm kind of going down here. We're not going to do this too often because I know it takes a little bit, so I'm trying to check things out real quick. Wessex, I know you're strong. Oh, yeah, they don't like me. I'm probably going to have to fight them. I don't know how that's going to work out. My people are going to be so ticked off at me for fighting someone who might even... I mean, I guess like that pe that penalty shouldn't really apply if they're the ones who declared war on me. I'm just kind of reacting to it. That's my view on it anyway. Alright, I've gone through them all. I've gone through them all. Oh no, that's so many. Alright, let's shout that out. What do you mean it's insulting? I'm a wonderful person to have them. You know what? Let's try a little bit more money. Alright, so we can't do that. We'll just find him a wife the normal way. All that work for nothing. Jeez, man. Now, we'll leave him unmarried for a bit. I'm trying to have, like, one good strong line. But if we lose him, oh hoo Alright, attrition time. That's a wharf. Gotcha. So, you kind of want to take out their little locations if you really want to go after their capital. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Is where I make a lot of my money right now. We'll take that for public order. Wonder turn. People are still moving. There's a little chat here. That's kind of adorable. <laughs> Not that I need it right now. But there's a chat if I want to talk to myself. Hello, world. Oh, it's just me. Okay. I got you. So let's have a look at a new turn now. We're going to unite our armies. I'm going to need to make sure that I keep like at least a tiny garrison here and there, depending on who's really unhappy. We could have rebellions pop up or even a new war, as long as they're in a relatively safe you know, location where they can recruit or do whatever. It's currently winter. Okay. All right. Another child. <gasps> no. Why? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Life is hard, man. No way. That's... Oh, I'm actually a little bit sad about that. We just had a child. Or my... Anyway. You're charming. Great. Take her hand. Too much influence again. I'll have to work on you later. I don't know. I feel like maybe in a way, maybe he should be my heir. It's a tough one. I'll have to think about it. Because I know. Assassinate. Oh. Oh, yeah, he'll take a lot to take down. That's really crazy. All right, well, he's loyal at least. I mean, at five, I think he's pretty loyal. He's more loyal than my own heir. I can always help that out later. All right, let's go look. Anything for Civic yet? No, I still need to get some good stuff for that. Let's keep on looking. If I get that, my upkeep will go up. It'll be cheaper to recruit, though. All right. Let's go over here, then. 
So we're looking at defensive tactics. Good infantry defense is helped by the correct use of the tools available to deflect attacks, hold ground, and stay alive. Drilling soldiers in the best shield-bearing tactics will improve their defensive abilities. Okay. Should we look over here. Here's Ea Dread. So you're becoming pretty good. Go make more money, Idrid. I'm going to make you a governor one day, I think. All right, so we can actually upgrade this area. What do we want here? We can get more public order. We can get a few things, I suppose. Their public order isn't really too bad off, and I can always get a new community over here. Yeah. So we can handle that issue later. All right, but we don't want anything that will cause public order issues later. Well, that would be for... I already have a grain pit. All right. That's for fur production. We don't need to worry about that. Let's go get... Hold on. Let me keep on looking. That's for the church. I do have a church here. We make a little bit of money from the church. Okay. A focal point for small communities, bustling villages, and thriving towns alike. We could take that. I do have a lot of things that can make me money down here, so I think that would be a, def a decent compromise anyway. Man, that took a long time for you guys to be able to meet up. I'm going to have to work on getting more food soon. Yeah, let him have what he wants to have. I want you to go move over here. Or actually, are they okay? Minus three. What about up here? Minus one. So they're actually doing all right. So we're going to have you go back up over here then. I want you to come on down. You're going to help me in my war pretty soon. I'm going to have you recruit more pretty soon too. All right. So let's see. Idred, you're good to go. Oh, we can upgrade things or retrain them. Hold on. Let's go look at what they might be like when they're retrained. That's pretty crazy. These guys over here are actually tougher stat-wise in terms of melee skill. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, we're doing it. Ford Spearman. Okay. So we'll be ready in like a turn to go after their village and all that. I'm a little bit worried about them coming after me, but they don't have a big army. I think it might work out. We can begin to conquer down here and conquer other factions, I think. Might go up north later. It's kind of a challenge. I would need like multiple armies to really pull it off, I think. But let's end our turn again. Yeah, traveling takes a long time. I'll have to look at how long it takes whenever I go over, you know, water. If water is a lot faster, then I'll begin to do that. We can... Bring our... Oh, it's Bebenburg. I remember that location so well from Viking Conquest. I really enjoyed playing that for the first time. That was a lot of fun when I went through that campaign and played as Baldir. Uh, I need to make, actually, a D&D character based off that. Could do, like, a Oath of Conquest paladin or something fun. Oh, a Lush. Oh, no. Okay, look at him. It's all working out. Okay, Thurbrand, you're very loyal. If I keep doing that, though... That will give them attrition when they come after me. So I like that idea a lot. If they come after me, they begin to deal with attrition. All right, if I get that, I lose more money, but corruption goes down. Let's go ahead and look at details here. That would get rid of all corruption. There would be no corruption here at all. <laughs> That's pretty powerful. All right, here's Carl. He's a merchant making me more money. Let's grab, let me look at her quick. Siege Engineer. It's a fairly important location for me. It's pretty close to the front lines, too. All right, man, let's go. We're going to, I suppose, begin our war now. We cannot. We to the end. You don't have any friends. War declared. No one cares if I come after you. So that means, oh, I'm making over 3,000 gold now. Great. All right, boy, let's get you down here. Let's try to build up some more food buildings. I haven't done that for a little while. I've been focusing a lot of my money, but now I need food buildings. All right, so we're making 940 from over here. All right. No food from that. I don't want my... Oh, okay. Let's go over here then. That would give me 20 more food. Public order goes down though. We could... No, that wouldn't be enough public order then. Yeah, so we need more food. We need more farms. We want to keep that all up. Oh, here we go. A mint. I do have a market. I like the idea of having that. Public order is still pretty low though. I might need to grab a church before I do that. We're going to try to make sure these guys are relatively happy. Industry villages. I've got lead over here. A forge. A market. Alright. I hate losing some money, but we're going to have to try to make them a little bit better off. That would give me a better... I don't want to destroy it. I don't think I really need that here. 
Do I have another one? Hold on, let me find out. I've got one forge over here. Pretty sure I've got another one, right? I thought I did. Or is that really the only one I have? Hold on. Yeah, we got that one here. I think we're good. What about over here? I might be blind right now. That's always a possibility. Okay, what do we want to build up here? So they're relatively okay. They could be happier. That would be on my front lines. I could have a better garrison if I really want to stop them. Especially if I fight some enemies that I don't like. That could be decent. I'll be more public order to counter any of those issues. I could upgrade other locations for more food. That doesn't make public order go down. So that's a good point. It's a very low chance of rebellion. Occupation. It's minus two. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Okay, so what do we want then? What do we want to truly get? I can't build a lot of stuff here yet. That will take time. Food protection will go down. I'm trying to avoid having that happen actually. So we do have a market. I'll take that. Four turns. We can improve that and make things better. Okay, he'll be there in one turn. We got fourteen hundred men coming down. I think I'm gonna have you. You can't really recruit too much. You've got spearmen, right? Yeah, you got a few. We'll take one over here. Probably recruit more and get a bigger army. I won't give him like a full sack, I think. I don't think he needs it. Nice, right, moving up. It's my other son. Yeah, we could go to Bevenburg at the very beginning if we were to declare war on them and do a naval invasion and try to take that over. I'm going to need to look at their other pathways and see how we can kind of injure them and keep them from being able to just like go right into my lands while I'm being busy with other things. Okay. Another faction gone. What's over here? Thurbrand. He's becoming very good at being a governor. Very happy about that. Prove my income. Thank you. We just keep making more and more money. It's great. Public order is still really bad down here. We're still trying to work on that. All right. Let's go work on food then, as I said before. We just want to work on food and I suppose yeah, get our thing filled. The swift resolution of tribal feuds and social disorder are important steps towards basic civility. All right. Time for me to go after what you have. We're going to sack it. Still want some money. And I guess we'll occupy it for a little bit. Oh, yeah. They're unhappy. I'm going to repair it. That's a decent amount. Darn it. Didn't realize it would really be that much. How much do you have? Oh, you've got a bigger army. Oh, my God. You've got a decent army. Okay. Yeah, that's going to add to my borders a little bit. Let's go look over here. Not at building browser. My bad. Let's go look over here instead. And I'm not going to tax you. So, enjoy that. All right. I'm sure that helps out a little bit. If they choose to come fight me, great. If they don't, I'm going to go after their capital. Then we can come over here and conquer more. So, we're going to expand our southern boundaries a little bit more. Let's see. Can we go war with the English further? Events, battles. Yeah, they're becoming happier with that. They're like, yeah, kill those non-Englishmen because we don't care about non-Englishmen. All right. Let's go look over here. I'm going to retrain you two. They're looking better. They're looking better. Okay, these are long axemen. They're okay. I could use some more archers, I suppose. Let's grab two of them. I think that might be a decent army. Yeah, that should be enough to really help me out. We could use these two to go after other targets. All right, if I move over water... No, I really thought like moving over water would just be so much faster, but it doesn't really feel that much faster. It really doesn't. Let's come over here. Risk of rebellion. Well, I'm well aware. I'm well aware of that. Okay. You're coming over here to help out. Who knows when we might need you. I could get rid of these guys and just make more money for now, but... Minus 10. Can I help you? Occupation. Did he get stuff for me that, and I'm not aware of it? I got that one. Oh, a trade gain to vanquish her. Oh, great. Public order goes up. The enemy will be thoroughly defeated. Okay. Got that one over here. Still got a profit. So that's pretty good. Who are you? Okay, they're pretty far off anyway. Occupation, you say. Yeah, there's a little bit of that. Oh, here's the tiny army. I was wondering... Where they were at, they're going to come after my lands pretty soon. No. I mean, if you guys want to go after them, you can. Let's go look at diplomacy real quick. Go after that target for me. 
So they'll actually do it. That'll be great if they actually go after the little targets like that. Keep my lands safe. Is it, they could like take lands from me, and that would be really annoying. I'd be pretty mad about that if they did that. Really hope someone's able to like add in gifting or getting regions because I would really like to have that back. It would be really, really nice. I would be able to get rid of a little bit of the border gore going on whenever one of my vassals takes locations that I might want. Okay. Pardon me? Is that a rebellion? I think it is. Elopement. Osbjorn. If you marry. She's brutal. Oh dear God. I hate having to intervene, but I kind of have to there. What a wicked turn. It's causing me a lot of issues. Jeez, man. Okay, so you were about to fight alone. We can't have that. Let's let you grab a few more soldiers. It's about to be pretty cold. But uh, take some house carls if you don't care that much. That should be decent. Yeah, you should be able to beat them. I hope. We're going to find out what's going to happen later. All right, time for me to go down over here. They've got a smaller army than before. Let's go down and kill them. Got a massive army. That's way too tiny for me to even want to fight that. So I'm going to use a defensive stance and just have him killed. Goodbye, enemy king. Oh, and he's been hacked into. thought I had a sword before. Do I? I don't remember. Anyway. I could subjugate you. They'll become my vassal kingdom. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Middle of the map. Kind of annoying. Way too tiny though for me to care. Yeah, it's way too tiny. We're just going to take it. Okay, so we get another war that we get to fight pretty soon. Oh, they're actually really happy now. Wow. Okay, so yeah, if I conquer <laughs> other factions, they're like, yeah, murder them. <laughs> like, okay, you bloodthirsty bastards. <laughs> Calm down. All right, so we conquered more. We're going to go over here to the east pretty soon and take Helleborg. I'll conquer that too. We'll have to actually break down their walls. But yeah, if they're a larger faction, we're going to calm down and not go so hard on them. Gwen, it would be nice to have. Who's over here? Who's conquered? Okay. And I kind of really want to go after my vassal now. <laughs> but no, he's a nice helper. Look at him. Got a decent little army. That's going to help me out in the future, hopefully. I hope anyway. All right, let's come on down. Let's do it. Yeah, there's that rebellion. If I didn't have any guys up there, that would have been pretty rough. I've only got a little bit of money left. Can I upgrade anything at all? Anything? Ah, here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Tier two. Done. It's in a turn again. So our kingdom is expanding heavily. We're just growing. It's going so well. I'm beginning to really learn how to like take out my foes and expand my own boundaries. The very beginning of our campaign was quite difficult. Oh, we're going to fight that only because we haven't had a good battle in a little bit. And I, and I do have a lot of horsemen, so that should actually be fairly challenging. So we're going to find out how they're going to play it out. I'm currently rank five. Oh, look at that. They add a little bit of pepper to your beard whenever you age. <laughs> cool. I'm grabbing wiser, which evidently is like my wise man voice. <laughs> Would you like to hear the tale of a dark lord? Me. Okay, the Dragon Slayers. Well, good thing I'm not a dragon. I'm a god dang abomination about to roll on you. Alright. Let's go look. Well, you know what we kind of want to do, or what I want to do. I want to get a nice formation for one. Let's go look at what we have. That's a nice melee line. You know what? Oh, hello. Sword and Axe Infantry lead the line with a wider line of units behind. Oh, heck yeah. That's kind of cool. I've got to tell. <laughs> it's so cool looking. Oh, heck yeah. Let's go cut right into them. This should be nasty. Oh, dear God, man. All right, you three will be together. No flaming arrows. You two will be together. Let's go. We're going to lock a formation now and just charge the hell in. Here we go. This should be nasty as hell, though. I want you to come over here. I want you to come over here. I want these spears to move after more horsemen. You'll go to that target too. Go charge in. Let's go fight. And we charge in. After that, we get rid of the wedge. All of you go after that group of horsemen as well. Oh, here they come. 
They're trying to come back down to play. Shoot, they got me on that one. That's okay, though. Attack move doesn't always function well. I was hoping it would function a little bit better than it did here, but it looks like we are going to hit them at like all their points now. On that flank, it's going to be a little bit rougher. I'm going to have my archers focus on that, then go over here and kill their spearmen. They've got a lot of dead guys. Okay, that was actually much better than I thought it would go. Go after that group. They might be back later. You'll go after this group. They should be back. I'm going to have you come over here. Go after whatever you can from behind. The battle's in our favor already. Come over here. Spearmen, come over here and help out. You'll go attack that other group. I'm using some archers to really bleed them out. Let's go check it out, though, in slow motion, just because it won't last for too long. We're still stronger. That was an interesting formation. Next time, I'll give myself, like, better... Oh, that's kind of a cool shot. I wonder how it would look if you were, like, downhill, though. It's already breaking. Still pretty cool. <laughs> He's like, oh, no! Let's leave. Okay. So we've looked at the battle. Here's my king in the middle who has 78 melee skill. They've already killed 53. They're fighting there. Oh, they're actually fighting their leader too, and they're still doing that well? Oh, heck yeah. All right, archers, come over here. Go kill their javelin men back there and go have them murdered. Come over here a little. Actually, just, yeah, just keep pushing in. I'm going to have you guys come over here and then kill them. Let me go look at the flanks real quick. How are they doing? I think we're cleaning up. Oh, yeah, we've, we've cleaned up. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. All right, I want all of you to move back. Come over here. They're trying to get you. They'll come over here and flank them. Over here. How's it going? Keep on attacking. The horsemen are taking some damage. I mean, you're fighting scout horsemen, so good job. Good job. You've already taken out their leader, or we're going to. Long Axeman will come in from behind and clean them up. It's going to be awful whenever your entire army is just beginning to break. I do like that they don't all chain break at the same time. That does kind of provide a little bit more realism for me. I mean, like, they shouldn't know psychically that their leader's dead, so I do like that. It takes time for things to kind of change. Killed how many? I mean, that formation was actually pretty cool because we ended up fighting the strongest of what they had, so that was pretty sweet. All right, let's get some guys back over here to go charge in. I've got some horsemen to help out, too. They came to me, so I could definitely... Go after them if I wanted to. Yeah. Horsemen, we're going to have you go after a few targets real quick before we call it. Because, you know, they're going to try to elude us here and there. It's 24 of you over here. Let's have you move on over there. Let's fast forward a little bit. So that battle's over now. That's how much we've been taken out. There's not much more that they can do. I mean, there really is not a lot more that they can do. We've already taken out a majority of what they can offer up in this type of situation. I've cut them down. That's a minor faction. It feels weird being able to fight a minor faction and actually have it feel like a minor faction. I think they might actually tweak things a little bit to make it a little bit more challenging in general. But I know that they're trying to like walk that fine line. It's really hard, I think, for them to like find a balance between arbitrary difficulty and handicaps and actually providing a challenge that is fun. It's not just like, oh, I'm being punished because, you know, we play well as players better than the AI. Because you want to be challenged, but you also don't want it to feel as gamey in some ways. It's it's a weird thing to try to really convey, but I, I think a few of you might know what I'm talking about when it comes to that. I don't mind a proper challenge. It's more like you got like one little town and they can somehow like sport like two to three stacks and they like spawn in new stuff. It gets pretty wild. Okay, so we killed 1500. They killed 199. And that is over for them. I guess we're going to ransom them. If it makes our people happy that we rule over, we might as well. Yeah, they barely have anything left. They're going to be done in a turn. Then we can go after that town to the east, and that's going to be a great location. Okay, so you're dead. All right. A daughter. We're getting children. Oh, cool. It shows the little stats here. I like that. I know all about the low public order. I'm aware. Okay, let's see. Occupation, battles... We're growing, we're growing. Oh, holy crap. That rebellion came by and caused a few issues again. Shoot. Alright, so it's taking me a minute to get over there. Let's take these three. 
All right, I'm going to focus on his army then for now. But we're going to combine just so that we have a full group or full-ish kind of group. Ah, full-ish, I get it. All right, so we're going to come over here pretty soon. Or now, actually. Let's go beat them. I want that location back. They can't take from me like that. That kind of ticks me off, so... I'm glad that, like, the exchanging of provinces isn't too painful to go through. That does make me happy. Oh, what's over here? Right, I can upgrade all of them. Cool, cool, cool. Upgrade. Now you're stronger. All right, so we're going to have you go there pretty soon. Come over here. We're going to have you go finish them off real quick. So we're at minus 12. War fervor's at plus 7. That's good. Okay, we don't need a night attack. We're going to play defensively and just cut him. Fairly well, fool. And he's gone. So we're going to ransom them too. Minus 11. Okay, so that's really helping out a lot. Good to know. Alright, so now we're going to get ready for another battle pretty soon. We're going to head over here and fight another battle in just a little while. I know they're unhappy. We might even have a few rebellions, but we're going to do it anyway. As we're down here to conquer some more land. Okay, so we've got some more stuff to expand. We're going to make more money next turn, I hope. That is the dream. Let's end our turn now. Yeah, we're looking at a lot happening right now. Faction destroyed. Another faction gone. Alright, so we can come over here. His army has it grown a little bit? I don't know. Anyway, let's go kill him if we can. Thankfully, it looks like we can. Okay. That guy is out of here now. We beat him. Oh, we did lose one, but that's okay. We're going to occupy it. We're not going to sack it. My people are becoming happier as time goes on. Rebellions do like to pop up on me. Okay, I can build that up and really help out my public order. I think I will do that. We had a little rebellion that popped up. But we put it down into the ground. Alright, so you're going to be ready in a little while. It's currently spring, so we could go there at any point. I'm going to bring you to town real quick. Yeah, replenishment takes a while in a new area. Who owns these lands down here let's see it's all pretty close to me wow is it really that big and developed there's no way i don't believe that but if like every slot here is available that would be amazing it does actually hold on maybe they are that developed my towns are looking pretty tiny in comparison so that actually might be a fairly developed location i mean to be fair this one's pretty big too so it's probably about that yeah well, at least have like a few new slots to pick up. That's really cool. All right, so they're finally beginning to like me. It took me a while, but they're finally beginning to chill out now. Let me get a look at my family real quick. Yeah, we don't need to see the dead right now. That's tragic. I do have a son. He's two years old. I always forget. Okay, you're 35. She's brutal. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to... Go try to marry her off, I guess. I, I don't know, man. Uh, let's see. East England. Oh, you're falling apart. Never mind. Do you want to marry her, by the way? They're like, yeah, sure, why not? No, I don't want to deal with you. What about you? Will one of you take her? Uhtred will. Oh, really? Uhtred? Yeah, man. Join the family. That's all cool. I wonder if that causes any type of conflict at all. I guess not, but... Oh, I actually had a daughter. Oh, my God. I'm currently 46, and I had a daughter. Hey, good for me. I wonder if I could have more. I bet, like, that's the cap. But if there are more, cool. Okay, so the House of Scalding. Let's see over here. My influence is rather vast. All right, cool. Public order. My fame could be so much better. I'm trying to work on that. Yeah, so you two are married. She's 17. He's 46. Oh, dear God. Listen, she was too brutal for us. All right. <laughs> I've only got one grandchild. She's charming. My boys are young, man. They're so young. They're doing well. Hold on. I need to go look at... Let me think about it. What is it again? Right, right. Estates. That's what it is. Let's go look over... 
Look at you, Carl. You've grown, man. Okay, I own a few locations. Let me go look at loyalty. Who's not feeling loyal? I've got a few locations, so I'm going to give that to my son for one. All right. A lot of you are doing pretty well, I think. Third brand, we'll give you the one. Now you have two. Oh, I didn't actually help out at all. Well, too late now. I don't want to take it from him and have him betray me later. Yeah, so we're about to have a new war going on at Snottingham. We're going to take that location and have another big chunk of land. Just come join me. I'll probably go raid door and at least make a little bit of money, then occupy it. I'm expecting to fight a lot of wars down here. That's why I'm coming down. I mean, I'd like to go up north too. All right. Wessex has now taken Mercia. According to the King of Wessex, he has a legitimate claim to the throne of Mercia. Once that claim would have been vigorously opposed, but Mercia suffered so many calamities that they seem to have lost all will to resist. They have accepted the West or the Wessex claim and become their vassals. Okay. Well, they're very tiny and weak now. All right, things are looking a little bit less border gore like. He's Osbjorn. You're decently loyal, I suppose. I mean, a little bit, I guess. Anyway, let's have you do some foraging up here. I'll be fighting up there eventually. We have 52 food. All right, everyone, when we're back, we'll get more done. Thank you for watching Dogs of War. Leave a like and comment down below. And when we're back, it's time for war. Let me know what you think I should be conquering after I take out this little faction. And as always, until then.